welcome to my channel thank you for tuning in my name is ivy and today i have decided to go to the christmas market at this time it was about 5 pm that i arrived around the area in downtown during this time there are many different decorations such as lights shining bright along the crosswalk now we will walk towards the location i am close by the lineup and i will have to wait to enter while waiting, I am going to show you the tickets. During that time, I bought the tickets in advance where they had a discount. The ticket price was originally $21.63 in Canadian and I bought it for $19.99 including taxes. It would be more convenient to buy it online instead of in person because you can save a lot of time. Now the line is moving, let's take a look inside. While moving, there are two lines, either the zero mark or the 30 minute mark. They had two lines prepared depending on the time the tickets people bought. The tickets I bought were at 5 p.m. so I will enter in the zero mark. I will be scanning my ticket to enter the gates and let's take a look inside what booths they have. Here we are entering the gates with the beautiful lights on the carousel and many more to come. Here I am walking along the sidewalk and there are many festive booths. Some that we can see here were candles. Handcrafted ornaments. and made soap and many more. Let's continue to take a stroll around.
is the directory. If you're ever lost, you can take a look here that is a legend where you can choose where you want to go to eat, take a look on different merchandises, or anything that comes to mind. As for me, I am interested in the food section, so let's see where I would head next. During that time, it was very crowded, but the first stop in mind was Housen Hawks. I was craving for something that was semi-crispy, so that came to mind. While waiting in the line, the best part was to see the food twirling around in live action. On the side, there are facts about their products, about pork hocks. As you can see here, there are many interesting facts that you may learn. Then there are the prices that are listed. I decided to order half pork hock, sauerkraut, and rye bread that can feed up to two people. And the cost is $14.50 in Canadian dollars. Now I am waiting for my order number, which is 59. I have received my portion and I will be adding ketchup and mustard on the side. Let's have a taste test. I love how the pork skin tasted crispy and the meat was juicy. Everything tasted amazing with the sauerkraut in the cold weather. Next stop, I will be going to Squid Feast. The sauces they offer on the menu were spicy garlic, tzatziki, spicy salt and pepper, and sweet and soy. The menu has deep fried squid tentacles, deep fried whole squid, creamy seafood soup, deep fried shrimp that contains seashell, and deep fried oyster. Here is a quick 
glimpse on the menu with pictures to help you get an idea what to order. I have ordered and we will see later what I decided to get. This was a unique idea of the ordered number that reminds me of the Korean drama on Netflix which was called Squid Game. I am still waiting on my order but here is a glimpse of the stand where people are working on the orders. My order came and it cost $19 to order a large size of deep fried squid tentacles. I decided to get the popular sauce called the spicy garlic. It's time to give it a try. It tasted crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside. During that time, I really enjoyed it. Now it's time to move on to a different booth. After eating crispy foods, I wanted something normal, which was hot dogs. I decided to go to Bratwurst Haas. This is the menu on what they have to offer. There are different types of sausages, and what is great is they have vegetarian options. In the menu, what stood out to me was this cheesy bacon twist, but during that time, they were sold out. So I decided to order the farmer sausage, which the total comes to $11. When receiving the hot dog, I can't forget to add on the ketchup and mustard to make it taste complete. The taste of the hot dog is like any regular one to me, but I enjoyed the warmth and simplicity. I wanted to go find appetizer, so I decided to go to the next vendor beside it, which was the cheese me raclette. This was the menu that offered various food, but the one that caught my attention was the classic raclette that comes to a total cost of $17. I decided to pay by cash because I bought cash just in case if some eateries won't accept cards. If you do decide to give this place a try and want to pay by card, there will be a 3% charge on top of your order. The satisfying part about this experience was seeing the cheese being melted on the hot machine while they scrape it on top of the appetizer. This is what the appetizer offers, which is a Swiss raclette, cheese melted over the potatoes, herb smoked ham, baby dill pickles, and pearl onions. The taste is savory with a nice cheese pull with each bite with a feeling of satisfaction. Last stop is dessert. I decided to get churros because I haven't had them for a while and the best part is they are freshly made. This booth is called Traditional Spanish Churros. I got 6 churros for $12 and decided to add toppings for a dolly each which were dark chocolate drizzle and oreo crumble. After all the food I have eaten, I decided to end the day strolling around the market and heading to the lights. Besides the food, this was one of the best parts of seeing the bright lights going through the tunnel. 
Thank you for watching the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you're interested in seeing more future content, please subscribe. Happy holidays and wishing everyone full love and joy. Thank <laughs> you.